What is up guys, Kronos here. So following up on the MC Hadi mod review, today I'm going to show you guys how to install the mod. So the first thing you want to do is have access to your Minecraft folder, and I know that most of you guys know how to do this, but just in case, all you have to do is click on the bottom most windows icon and then type percentage app data uh, data percentage and click enter i will have all of this in the video description so you don't have to read them now once you do that you will get to this folder and most of the times the topmost folder will be that minecraft folder get in there and you will have access to all the folders that you need in order to install this mod now at this point i'm going to make two assumptions uh, first is that you have your uh, forge installed already or you know how to install it if you don't, just do a quick Google search or YouTube search and you will find many tutorials on that. However, it does come with an installation package, so it is as easy as installing any of the programs on your PC, so I don't think you're going to need much help with that. And the second assumption that I'm going to make is that you either have WinRAR or 7-Zip installed. If you haven't, I will recommend that you install 7-Zip because it's free and it works great. Now, at this point, we want to access the page where the mod is actually located. And you're going to see that Sylvania Studios has done a great job at translating everything that you need to know about this mod, the description, the installation process. However, visualization does make things easier, so we're going to go through the steps one by one. Before we move on though, I would recommend, strongly recommend that you give them a diamond because it's got over 150 downloads and yet only 246 diamonds and he really deserves all the props that he can get because he's done a great job at this. So once you have done this, give him a diamond and then scroll down and then you will find the link where the yellow link where it says original download link. Click on that and you will get to a page where there are lots of Japanese text and you think oh my god this is so complicated but it really isn't because all you have to do is just scroll down until you see this big blue text where it says download and there are many versions of this mod just pick one that you use for me for example i use the 1.710 so click on that and it will take you to this page now once you get to this point again i want you to click on this green nice button i believe that's the rating that the author of the mod gets so if you click on that it takes one second give the props to the mod uh, author who's done a great job at making this mod so do that and once you have done that, I want you to click on this red button where it says download on the right top section of the page. And that will start the download process which is about 2 minutes long and it's about 60 megabytes. Now I'm going to cancel this because I've already downloaded it. And at this point, after you have downloaded you want to go to your download page and you will have this zip file which is called MC1710MCHELI. You want to do is right click on that and go to your 7-zip or your WinRAR and then you will do extract here and you will get a file a folder called MC Heli. now I will stress that uh, you don't want the zip format in your mod folder because this needs the folder structure not the zip file so make sure you extract that get the folder and you will either control X or right click and cut and then you're gonna take it to your Minecraft mod folder so you go to Minecraft and then you go to mods and then you will either control V or right click and paste. Now I'm not going to paste that because I already have it. Once you do that you will have your MC Heli folder right there. Once you get into the folder you will see that you will have an asset folder. Now this is where your content packs go. Now at this point the mod works and uh, you will have many helicopters and many props and planes that you could play with. But if you choose to add more contents, this is the step that you will follow and we will do it right now. So go back to the download page and you, you will press on the back button so you get to the page where the mod was. And you will scroll up or if you get to the page once again you will scroll down and you will find the blue link, blue text where it says contents back. Just click on that and you will see more Japanese text but it's okay because the mod author has done a great job at translating some of the key things that is necessary for you guys to install this mod easily. Just scroll down and you will find this uh, download link again and these are the content packs and he has kindly put all the translations for example the unique aircraft, warplane, world war 2, I have installed everything except the world war 2 aircraft because there are too many and it was going to complicate the mod review. So anyways. Let's say that I've chosen the unique aircraft and you will see the details on that. Just click on the spoiler and you will see the details. It says you get the Totoro aircraft, the mecha gas aircraft, bamboo helicopter and all them goodies. Also you get brooms that you can fly on. Now what you want to do is you want to click on that download link 
and uh, I've done it already so it doesn't take me but if this is the first time you're doing, doing it it will take you to this page or if it doesn't work just right click on this and do open link and new tab new tab and you get to this page where is the Dropbox download page when you click on download it's gonna pop up this message don't worry just click out of it and then click download again it will start the download process most of the content packs are anywhere between two to four megabytes so it will take a few seconds to download once you have done that you will go back to your download folder and you will see that I have the joke plain zip file now I already have one because I already downloaded it so we're gonna get rid of this and what you want to do is you want to do the same thing with this go to 7-zip and extract here and you will get the folder get inside it and you will see the asset folder and you want to do the same thing again you want to right click and then you want to cut or control X and you want to get back to your MC heli folder now just to remind you where this was it's in your mod folder go to MC heli and then you got assets and right here you want to either control V or right click and paste and it will pop up this message now some of the contents do not overwrite anything or don't merge anything so when you install it for the first time it will not pop this message so you won't even have to bother but some of them do so when they ask you just say yes and then when it pops up this message click on this do this for all current items and then click yes and then on this message you will do do this for all to the next 85 complex and uh, conflicts and then you will do move and replace Bam, it's done it. Now you got your content pack. And to show you that the mod is working, we're gonna start Minecraft. And of course, I'm going to fast forward all the start startup so that we can fast forward through the whole thing. So I'll see you guys in one second. All right, now that we are in Minecraft, let's expand the window and let's create a world. Let's name it MC Heli. Let's make it creative and create a new world that's gonna take a second all right now that we are inside minecraft we're gonna test out the mod all you have to do is get to your second page or fourth or fifth depending on how many mods you have installed and you will find your MC heli props we're gonna test out the bell chopper set it down somewhere get inside and you can fly it at your own content but we're not gonna do that because it's very loud set it down set it down get out get out all right guys so if this tutorial has helped you click on that like button subscribe i'll be doing a lot more mod reviews from your own so expect to see more contents like this so guys thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time chronos out